Hi, I'm Bob Hernick. I started judging Delaware Valley Science Fairs in 1995 and at all levels from local school events to ISEF every year since 1999. The topic of this video is, what do judges want to see and hear in the video portion of a virtual fair? Follow the old three-step presentation guide. Tell them what you're about to tell them, then tell them, and then tell them what you told them, which translates into what your project is about, the details of what you did, and then your project's conclusions. Your goal is to make it easy for the judges to know what was done, why it was done, and the conclusions you drew from it. Talk about things that might not be obvious just by reading the display or reading your slide deck. Don't guess at what judges might know. Verbally and visually state the important, novel, and or new aspects of your project and why they're important. The judges want you to clearly communicate what you learned. What is important is what you learned doing your project and clearly communicating that to the judges. There's a fair chance that the judges know more about your project's desired results than you do. So don't make your present presentation a tutorial on your project's subject matter. For example, if your project's about some characteristic of supernovas, then you can safely presume your judges already know what a supernova is. You don't need to take time explaining the basics. If the judges do need to look up something to understand the starting point of your project is, then they can do that themselves without expecting it to be part of your four minute video. One of the things often asked about is what surprised you while working on your project? The answer to that question can provide great insights into what you learned as a result of your work, both for you and for the judges. Thank you for your attention and I hope you have a great fair.